What up, champions? Hope you're doing good. Hey, um, it is Ben here. Uh, just got on the live here. Uh, just want to encourage people. Uh, I've heard there are some people who are struggling uh, a little bit with the COVID thing or just different flus or whatever. And I uh, just want to talk about healing a little bit. Shakaraba. Come on, Jesus. Um, yeah, come on, Jesus. It's so important to, to stand on the word. Um, you know, because even just with like phones and like all this stuff, what up Myra, even with like phones and all this stuff, it's so easy to, to hear what the world is saying like all the time and kind of be conformed constantly to the world and what's happening and what they're saying and oh, everyone's sick, everyone's not sick, all this stuff, you know. Uh, it was funny because I, I recently, um, uh, I had to get a test for traveling and the test came back uh, positive for COVID. Myra, champion, and um, I have zero symptoms, and in Jesus' name, I'm fine, but I didn't have time to retest. What up, Farhad? And so um, I had to just kind of, you know, live with whatever, you know, but I feel amazing, no symptoms. But I just was thinking, wow, how important is it for us to stand on the Word of God and not go with what just doctors say, not go with what people say, not just go with uh, what the news is saying, and not jump into that fear thing, you know? It's January again, you know? There's COVID cases that are actually real and, you know, all that stuff, so to speak. And so it's easy to jump back into that fear thing and, oh, no, I need to be afraid. I need to live in fear. But I have something that uh, it's good. It's this thing I just recently discovered. What up, Mia? Come on, Dr. Jesus. And um, I think it'll help some people. It's called the Bible. Shakaraba. And the Bible says that Jesus' blood speaks of better things, okay? So when the world is promising death, doom, and destruction, don't be surprised because the blood of Jesus speaks better things. God's word promises better things. And we are not like those who turn back. We stand on the word. We stand on the promises. What up, Farhad? In Jesus' name, Shakaraba. And so it's so important to not just believe what people say, not just believe what labels people put on you or diagnosis and oh, oh, you have this, oh, I have this. You know, because I could just take that thing, you know, that test result and all of a sudden decide that now I have a right to feel bad, to feel sick and take that label, that title. But I have this little thing called the Bible. Shakaraba. And the Bible says that I am healed. The Bible says I'm a new creation. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. The Bible says I have healing blood flowing through my veins and it's the blood of Jesus Christ. And I just want to encourage you guys, hey, stand on the word. Don't let go of the word. This is a time when the world is trying to conform you, transform you to what the world is thinking, right? Stand on the word. It doesn't matter how you feel. It matters what the Bible says. And um, until the Bible becomes more real to you than symptoms, you know, a lot of times your symptoms will dominate who you are, what you say, what you don't say. Your Bible, your belief on the word of God needs to be stronger than what you feel or don't feel in your body, right? And so I just want to encourage you guys in that you guys are changing. Come on, RSL, not today, Satan. Shakaraba. I just want to encourage you guys, stand on the word of God. Stand on the promises of God. The Bible says that though a thousand might fall at my right hand, what up, Mario? And 10,000 at my left, it will not come near me. Why? Because I stand in faith. You know, there were the, the 12 spies and 10 of them said we can't take the land and two said we could. Caleb and Joshua, it said they're men of a different spirit, a spirit of faith, right? And they were the ones who eventually went back and they got into the promised land. Everyone else didn't, but they did. And I just want to encourage you, this is a time to stand in faith, stand on the promises. That's right, Farhad, Psalms 91, killer, right? We need to stand on the promises of God. So, I wanted to read you a couple verses. I only have a couple seconds here to be on here. Um, but uh, I just want to encourage you guys, standing on the promises. Shock out of uh, um, uh, Let's jump into Matthew 8 real quick. Come on, just a little snack in the middle of the day, a little Bible. I also want to encourage you, if you have a sickness or something that's attacking you, don't just look at the news. Don't just Google WebMD. You know, get in the Bible. Get in the Word. Stand on the promises and read it over and over and over and over until the Word becomes more powerful in your physical body than what else you're putting in there, okay? So this is Matthew 8. Let me just read here real quick. Um, Matthew 8. Which one, Lord? Which one? Shoto Sakire Bosha. 
Um, oh, I'm going to read the one about the centurion, okay? The Roman centurion, okay? Roman centurion. Matthew 8, 7. And uh, there we go. Let me see. Yeah, Matthew 8, 7. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. This is the Roman centurion. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. Not may be healed, not might be healed, but will be healed. Speak the word only and my servant will be healed. Matthew 8, 8. Verse 9, for I also am a man under authority. Are you under authority? Come on, Jesus, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled. Hey, listen, who wants to make Jesus marvel? Who wants to make Jesus go, wow, right? The Roman centurion made Jesus marvel. He made Jesus go, wow. When the Roman centurion, when Jesus heard it, he marveled. Verse 10, and said to those who followed, assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not in Israel. I have not found such great faith, not in Israel. I have not found such great faith in Israel. When you stand on the word of God versus what the world and media and YouTube and everything is telling you, you have great faith. When you believe authority, you have great faith and you make Jesus stand up and go, wow, come on. Come on me. Amen. Um, fight great faith, not even Israel. Verse 11. And I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go your way. And as you have believed, let it be done to you. Go your way. And as you have believed, let it be done to you. What up, Christina? Go your way. And as it as you have believed, let it be done to you. Go your way. And as you have believed, let it be done to you. As you have believed, let it be done to you. Some of us, we don't think it's fair, but we get what we're believing, right? And if we believe fear, we get that too. Go your way. And as you have believed, so let it be done for you. Sometimes we get what we believe and we don't like it. But the truth is we don't, it's not that we should change what we're trying to get. We need to change what we're believing and that will automatically change what we're trying to get. Do you believe that it is normal for you as an American to get COVID? Do you believe that it's normal for you to get sick? Do you believe that every year at a certain time, your family gets sick, sore throats, sinuses, act up, right? Don't believe it. Change your belief systems as you have believed. So let it be done to you. Then Jesus said in verse 13, Romans 8, 13, go your way and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed in that same hour. His servant was healed in that same hour. I said his servant was healed in that same hour. The Roman centurion believed and his servant got healed in the same hour. Okay, so guys, it's important. Stand on the Bible. Stand on the promises. Don't just go around taking everything. Listen, whatever you feed, that's what you will become. If you're watching all these reports and news and stuff of people dying and that, all this horrible stuff happening, if you feed on that enough, that's what you will be believing for. You need to feed on this. You need to take your face out of the book and put your face in this book, right? Come on, Jesus, right? Get in the book. Get your face in the book of life. Let the healing power of God flow through you. Let a spirit of faith come upon you. And then you stand in the midst of whatever comes against you and you win. God wants you to win. He doesn't want you to lose. You cannot be defeated and you will not quit. The strength of God is in you. He has made you for such a time as this. He's made you to stand strong. He's made you to be a conqueror, to have victory, and to destroy the works of Satan. It shouldn't be a surprise to us that Satan comes against us. It shouldn't be a surprise. What should be a surprise to us is how we respond, right? We already have the victory. Anyway, um, we have a, a service of Sunday. Super pumped about that. But I want to pray for people real quick. I don't have a lot of time to do interactive stuff, but I just want to release healing in Jesus' name. Message me as you get healed um, or whatever, you know, uh, as you feel the Holy Ghost, you don't need healing, whatever. You feel the power of God, just message me. Um, we've seen literally... Uh, I think over 100 people healed online. I mean, it's awesome. It's just what Jesus does. But I just want to pray for you real quick. Got my oil. Shakaraba. 
And Father, I just thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, oh, I see Margo, she's got something. In the name of Jesus, I come in right now all pain, any COVID, any witchcraft COVID. I come in, you leave people's bodies, any COVID demon. I come in, you leave people's bodies now. In the name of Jesus, I pray over Margo. I come in right now in Jesus' name, healing on her stomach right now. In Jesus' name, healing on Christina right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come in healing right now all over them. In Jesus' name, I come in all sick go now in the mighty name of Jesus. I also break off fear right now in the name of Jesus. I break off all fear right now. I command peace in Jesus' name like never before. Peace right now that your presence would come upon people right now and your glory would fill people. I break off fear and sickness and he covered. I command you to leave people's bodies and minds in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, more, more right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, more right now, right now. I command any sickness right now. I command you go now, right now. Thank you, Father. Healing into everyone's bodies watching right now. Right now, in Jesus' name, I command healing right now on Oma. Right now, I command right now that growth in her stomach dissolve now in Jesus' name, right now. I command healing on her body right now. I break off all fear right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, Christina. Father, thank you for more joy. Ha, ha, ha. On Christina, right where she's at. God, I thank you in Jesus' name for just giving her peace right where she's at. And all that seeking and looking for different right opportunities. I thank you for that joy right in the middle of where she's at in Jesus' name. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. I thank you, Father, for grace on her in Jesus' name. Peace. I thank you that you love these ladies. I thank you for Margo, God. I thank you for these champions. I thank you for Oma. I thank you for all the other people watching who will be watching. And Father, right now, we just imagine, God, not imagine, but picture in our mind touching the hem of your garment right now. We just picture, hey, if we just touch the hem of your garment, we'll be healed. We just picture that touching that garment. We thank you for your healing power right now in every person watching in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyway, don't have a ton of time. Just want to throw that out there real quick, guys. Love you a ton. You're champions. Stand on the word, okay? Use wisdom, obviously, but using wisdom is also getting in your Bible and reading and standing on the word for faith, for healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyway, love you guys. Champions. Uh, all the people I see on here, love you guys. Love you, Oma, Margo, Christina, uh, the other people here. I can't really see all the names, but... Anyway, Taylor, what's up, bro? Stephanie, hey. God bless you guys. Love you. Champions. Shaka